Today we are coming to you from our home base. Yes, and we are in the middle of a rather large landscaping project, but we wanted to take a few minutes to share a little bit about why we love having a home base and doing part-time RVing. So let's start looking at some of the reasons we love part-time RVing and having a home base. Number one, every trip we take is kind of like vacation. Number two, we have a lot more living space for half the year. Number three, we have a space for entertaining friends and family or neighbors, whoever we want to have come over. We've got a nice big space to be able to do that. Number four, we also have a lot more space for storing things. Number five, we get to enjoy the best weather we have in BC during the summer months. And then we get to travel to the good weather down south for the winter. Number six, half the year we can garden and grow our own food. Number seven, we have a place that we can always come back to and a place to call home just in case things go bust. Number eight, we have a permanent address where we can send packages and official paperwork. Number nine, we can benefit from real estate booms by owning our own house. That also means we could also lose out if there's a real estate bust. Number 10, it makes it really easy for us to maintain the residency requirement for our health care in our home province of BC. And then number 11, we can very easily prove that we have sufficient ties to Canada when we're going to cross the U.S. border so that they don't think that we're trying to immigrate into the U.S. illegally and hold us for questioning for many, many hours. That has happened to us before we owned a house. Finally, it gives some great opportunities for us to meet local people and socialize with our friends and have them over for dinner, for instance. So now let's talk about a few of the drawbacks to having a home base as opposed to just living full time on the road. Number one, well, increased costs, of course, because not only are we maintaining our RV, we're also maintaining a home and property. Number two, our home might be empty for almost half the year, so it needs to be watched. Number three, well, maintaining a property is really hard work. Number four, we can't keep our own animals like chickens or goats. And then number five, because we're always coming to and leaving from this same spot, we really have to take into consideration how far we're willing to travel on any given season. So what I mean by that is we live on the West Coast, the East Coast would be really, really big deal for us because we would have to be planning extra resources, extra time. Number six, we miss out on some locations because we mostly travel in the winter. So we haven't been able to hit places like Utah or the Grand Canyon where it's too cold there in the winter. Okay, enough garden work for the moment. Let's go have a snack. Speaking of socializing, we got a really cool snack from some people that we met through the channel recently. Thank you very much, Dean and Edith. Yes, you remembered our love for odd chocolate bars. I like that. It's a bit weird. And got us some Reese peanut butter O'Henry bars for our American friends. This is a chocolate bar that's only available in Canada. And we're gonna test it out. They got us the like the huge king size. There's two chocolate bars in here. We're gonna start with just one. Ready, honey? Yep. There you go. Piece. No, no, just take a bite. Oh. We have to bite at the same time. Okay, ready? Okay. One. Look at this. Delicious mm. caramel peanuts. Peanut butter now. Ready? Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. We love peanut butter. Yep. This is way better than that potato chip Reese cup. Mm hmm. <laughs> I would argue also way better than the pretzel Reese cup. Well, thank you again. Now we better get back to work. Mm -hmm. Touching me. Hi. I'm not good for goats. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't have my chocolate bar or my sweater. By the way, if you're wondering what's up with the goats, so how did we come to have goats in the backyard? Well, I've been struggling for, this will be the second year, 
to get all that brush back there cleared out. It's a really dense covering of thimbleberries, blackberries, wild roses, ferns, you name it, tons of weeds. And my options were dig it out myself or spray mass amounts of herbicides all over it, which I really didn't want to have to do, or try and cut it down and dig it up and again, removing it myself, hiring someone, etc., etc. So as I took the winter to contemplate what I would be doing, I learned about a goat loaning program in California where a lot of cities will hire goats to come and clear out big huge grassy areas or areas that are overgrown with invasive species and weeds that become fire hazards and so I wondered if maybe we could do that here so I looked it up couldn't really find too many places I found one that was referenced in a newspaper a couple of years ago but when I called she wasn't doing it anymore unfortunately and so I just put it out to our community and asked if anyone had any goats that they could hire for uh, me to use in the garden and within like minutes of posting it I got someone who said that they have goats and they'd be willing to bring them over so it's all a bit of an experiment for both of us they've never brought goats loaned out their goats before and I've never had goats in the backyard before I've goat proofed the yard I've put uh, chicken wire over a lot of the plants that we don't want them to eat we just let them roam around we'll see how it goes so there you have it. That's why we love part-time RVing and having a home base. Yes, and if you would like to see more about our goat friends here and the landscaping project that we're working on, let us know in the comments and we will post some photos on social media for you. So let's start looking by... Send packages and official... Oh, we have a place to... For us to meet the require... Blah, 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 blah. Reese cups. No for a couple months each year. It's more than a couple months. We can benefit by having... No, wait. <laughs> Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.